Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 21 video. In today's episode, we're going to be going into episode 20 of Wheel of Franchise, and we are in the Super Bowl, and one of their top threats looks to be Amari Cooper. That is going to definitely be a problem. The last one we played the Broncos, I got destroyed, but it was a different team then, and now it's a different team now. So uh, hopefully we can beat them today, as I would every day, but still, um, Christian Sam, I don't know who that is, but still, very exciting day because we have the Super Bowl wheel to get into. The only custom wheel made for one game in the entire season. So that way we can basically stack out the team before we rip it apart and start again. So this is currently what the team looks like. And you guys voted Darius Slade to be the series MVP. So what I did before is if the CPU gave them upgrades for having a good season, like a star dev upgrade, like on Markel Lee, then um, I would strip it off of them because we have to get on the wheel. But I didn't want to be too much of a party pooper. So I gave you guys an MVP and whoever won the series MVP would get a dev up or plus five to any stat if they already had superstar X factor. So Darius Slayton comes with the wrecking ball and I'm not going to change that unless I get a wheel spin to change that. So overall great team within a span of two episodes. I managed to get a superstar running back and an X-Factor receiver. So very good episodes, but let's get into the wheel spins. So on the Super Bowl wheel, there's very limited things here, but there's very overpowered stuff and semi pretty good stuff. One of the semi good stuff is plus three any zone coverage. So anyone can get plus three zone coverage. Definitely going to go on Marshawn Lenmore. He's probably going to be one of my prestige players. And next is plus four any pass block. That's one of that's probably the worst one that we could have gotten. So not great, not good either. But still, uh, change superstar. Wait, change superstar to superstar X Factor. So it means we can now go from a superstar to superstar X factor. It's a specific dev upgrade. So that's why it said it like that. But still, we're going to be upgrading the pass blocking on Isaiah Wynn from 80 to 84. Uh, it didn't do anything to his overall, I don't think. So that's kind of disappointing. It was kind of crummy wheel spin. But it looks like Marshawn Lattimore is going to be getting all the love for this wheel spin. But if we do complete our challenge, we get another Super Bowl wheel spin. So that way it's not too you know, bad. And I didn't want to make this like dumb overpowered. There were, there was some dumb overpowered things on this wheel, but still, uh, I didn't want to make it too stupid. And it looks like, where's the zone coverage? I passed it. So if we up this from 83 to an 86, if you guys think I should make it even stronger, the Super Bowl wheel, let me know in the comments, but we're also going to give Marshall and Lattimore superstar X factor. I don't know why I didn't do that while I was already editing him, but he has a 92 overall with morale, 91 without it, obviously. And what is his superstar x factor going to be this is definitely going to be interesting give him superstar x factor and obviously i can't change the traits until i get something on the wheel to change it but still defensively marshawn Lattimore gets reinforcement i'm okay with that much rather have universal coverage or a bottled neck but still pretty good overall and this team is actually looking pretty great. Quan Williams, Eli Apple have made more plays than um, Marshawn Lattimore ever has. I don't know why. Marshawn Lattimore is really good at tackling, though. He can, he's like that. I see him more as a safety than I do a defensive back because he is that reinforcement. He's the actual reinforcement and he comes in clutch for the tackles. He can catch up to defenders. I see him much more as a safety than I do a actual defensive back but they have Dwayne Haskins Jr. with superstar dev it looks like he got upgraded to with inside dead eye and closer as his superstar abilities they also have Darius Geis who is injured and so Frank Gore is going to start for them fullback doesn't matter wide receiver Amari Cooper Michael Gallup and James Washington big big threat there tight end Jonu Smith another big threat uh O-line is looking pretty good so far Right guard and center are caught lacking a little bit, but still a great O-line. Carl Nassib, Calais Campbell, Deron Payne as well, and Calais Campbell, I don't know. Mm, yeah, he's fine. I don't I don't know. I thought I thought he was like a higher overall than that, but Deron Payne, Al Woods, who is injured, and left outside linebacker Shaquem Griffin, he could use a hand. Uh, Joe Schobert, O'Shea Zimenez, and Steven Nelson, I've never heard of you. Malcolm Butler, Anthony Brown. Free safety, Grant Delpit, who is injured, and strong safety, Carl Joseph. So, offensively, they look stacked. Defensively, pass rush looks all right, 
Linebackers are all right, but secondary sucks. So I really hope to torch them over the top. But other than that, boys, it is time to jump into the challenge wheel. Here we are with the challenge wheel, and it's nothing special for the Super Bowl. The challenge wheel is just a challenge wheel. And if you guys have any any ideas for the challenge wheel, just let me know. Fullback touchdown is going to be today's challenge, and I can definitely get that. So here we are as Tua Tonga Vailoa, not Tua Tonga Vailoa. I mean. Uh, Dwayne Haskins, but he goes down. I'm speaking way too fast. For some reason, I think this is the wrong thing. But still, either way, it's Dwayne Haskins, not Tua Tagovailoa. For some reason, I thought it was the Bears. But still, and Jonu Smith jukes me. That was just a bad part on me. I should have easily made that tackle, and he's going to break for 29 yards on a first down as well. And they're going to be going with the jet sweep. No, it's a fake off to the side. Frank Gore's got some space, and Frank Gore's going to get it further to the first down. Why is my player randomly slowing down when I switch onto him? That's going to be a fumble. What is going on? Everything's just happening all at once. I think that dude was down. I don't know. Of course, it's being booth reviewed, and of course, they're going to overturn it. This is the third game in a row, I believe, where this has happened, especially in the first quarter and in the first drive. He was clearly down, and they are definitely going to overturn it here. Yes, they did. So they have the ball back, obviously, now. And I thought that was, I definitely bit on that play action. And get that. Thank you. Jordan Whitehead making a play. I'm going to take this out instead of taking the knee. And it seems to be the right decision as we only get a few more yards than we would have if we just took the knee. But still, Jordan Whitehead, what an effort to make a play on the ball. Our ball now. So since it's our ball, obviously, Slayton Slants is going to be here. And he's going to be right there. And possession catch that. Thank you, Darius Slayton. I'm going to be running more slant, more more than slants. I'm going to be running more than slants. And there's another slant, though. It's just too easy. If they're not going to cover it, I'm not going to stop it. But for now, until they can stop it, I'm going to run this. And then once they do, I'll mix it up with Jalen Reger. So I'm going to be running other things with Jalen Reger right here. And nobody's really getting open. I just didn't have enough time in the pocket, and Shaquem Griffin could use a hand with that sack, and it looks, uh, I have more players involved in here, but oh my gosh, I'm going to go down. Uh, Carl Joseph, the safety, in there for the sack, and I'm going to take a field goal here as I'm going to go up now 3 to nothing against the Denver Broncos. As it is three to nothing against the Broncos, they obviously get the ball back after that kick. And please make a play on that. Thank you, Eli Apple, making a play back to his old ways. Eli Apple, what a play there as he's kicking the ball. I don't, I don't know what that celebration is. Still, uh, Slayton slants because they still can't stop it, and apparently they can. So it seems like I need to mix something up. As I fumble and get sacked, so I definitely need to make something up here as it's Carl Joseph again. And I'm running new plays. Y was definitely open. I don't know why I threw that. Yeah, Isaiah Ford was definitely open. I don't know why I threw Devontae Freeman. I saw it as I hit the button. That's pretty disappointing, but they're obviously back on offense after that interception. Quan Williams! Quan Williams is a god! Don't you dare let Dwayne Haskins catch you. Quan Williams, touchdown! Pick six! Quan Williams is by far the best defensive back on, on this team. I don't care if it's if you guys argue Marshawn Lattimore. It's Quan Williams. Still, Frank Gore. And for some reason, why do I why do my players magically get slower? Like they just look at him and just go, oh, let's slow down. I don't I don't understand that. It just happens sometimes. But apparently they're gonna go underneath, and I should have been covering that. That was actually my zone. That was completely my fault. As Amari Cooper is going to get a first down for the Broncos. Uh, I, I have so many things to cover here. I you couldn't cover everything. Oh, my God. Tackle him. Thank you. Even Marshawn Lattimore got juked out. That's a rarity. Couldn't believe that. Uh, still play action. I bit on it. We got cuff blocked, and we get mossed. I sent a blitz, and all of our defenders got cuff blocked, and we got mossed. God. That's frustrating. Still 7-10 to 10 as we are up, and we're going to get sacked as well here. The pressure is real today. Carl Nassib in there for the sack. And I'm trying to let the play develop more, but I just can't seem to get it. As Darius Slayton is going to be in there for the deep in route. That's going to be another first down. Darius Slayton seems to be the only player making plays today, as he usually is. Um, I think that might be Isaiah Ford. Hey, what, what, uh, uh, okay. Okay, I guess. A tip, tip drill fun. I would have been pissed if that happened to me. Uh, but okay, I guess it, I guess you get what you get. And Darius Slayton on another deep end. Seems like deep ends are... I'm trying to learn other plays. Seems to be working pretty well right now. So I don't see why I should stop it too much. 
But Darius Slayton's in the zone. Uh, no, I can't get it out to anybody. We fumble, but thankfully we recover once again. Shaquem Griffin needs a hand with that sack. But still, it looks like we're going to take a field goal with this one as it is 13-7 against the Denver Broncos in the Super Bowl matchup. So this is a very tight game, a lot closer than I'd like it to be. And they're just going to keep running slants with Amari Cooper. I mean, I don't blame them. I was doing that with Darius Slayton. But still, it's a little bit frustrating as well, so I can see why CPUs must hate me. Jonu Smith just ignores everybody. You're not George Kittle. Dude, DJ Swearinger just lit you up, and nobody can tackle you. I don't understand that. As they're going to take their three here, as it is going to be 10-13 to right before the end of the half, and that will be the end of the half as well. So they are back on offense as we gave up the ball on a three and out after halftime. And they're going to run a deep in on us. And they're going to get the first down with Jonu Smith looking like George Kittle. I don't know what to cover. Jonu, swear to God, we need it. Jonu Smith is such a bigger threat than Amari Cooper. I don't know why. He's a pain in the butt right now. Dude, everything. You can throw to anything here, Dwayne Haskins. Literally anything. And you would have had a touchdown. That's a flag somehow. One of your offensive linemen were probably holding, but literally everything was open. I couldn't cover everything. The middle was the only thing I could do. Holding on the offense, and it's going to be on Quentin Nelson. So that's pretty disappointing to have a 97 overall superstar development player. But still, I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that, but we do stand him up at the goal line. So that's good. So we could potentially get a field goal out of that instead. Third one, we need to make a big stop here. Everything's open. Everything was open. Oh my god, uh, is our zone coverage that bad in the red zone? It usually works really good down the field, but red zone, we just break down. 17-13, to 13. game is definitely tense right now. Ooh, ah, I could have outran that, that was one man to beat. I could have had a touchdown on that play, but still first down for Darius Slayton, so I'm happy with it. And I'm just going to need a scramble. I've been sacked way too many times. But Darren Waller is way too open to give up. I was trying to put a little juke move on him like we did against the Bears, but that didn't quite work out. Still, um, I need to go out here, and that's going to be Darius Slayton. Easy. Can I get a dead leg? No, that's Jalen Reger, actually, is what I didn't notice. Almost had the dead leg, and that would have been a touchdown. Clean-ass play from Jalen Reger. Sorry for cussing. And that's our fullback touchdown right there. Challenge completed. We might get another one on the day. Who knows? Fullback touchdown. I'm going for two points. And even with pass interference, that was pass interference right there, clearly. Even with pass interference... Darius Slayton still caught the ball. You cannot contain this man. This man is unstoppable. Pass interference. Thank you. 21-17. to 17. They're not going to get back in within a field goal. But still, Frank Gore is going all over the place. And it looks like, ooh, Whitehead is down. Looks like he has a hip injury or he's got something in his butt. Either way, um, he, looked, he looked really awkward in that position. I got everything covered. You're going to go down today. Tack McKinley in there for the sack. I'm surprised Khalil Mack hasn't had one yet. But still, I think we've only sacked them twice. And that's going to be a slip screen. I completely did not see that. And they're almost going to get the first down with that. That's frustrating to break down that much. But they have a first down now. And it was a frustrating breakdown for me. But it was still a pick. It doesn't matter. Eli Apple, second on the day. Ugh. In the conference championship against the Bears. Stellar pick. And now he gets his second one of the day. Three within two games. Oh, I love you. That's gonna, probably going to end the game as we're just going to ground pound with Devontae Freeman. He's got some space and a first down. Devontae Freeman for the first down. As we continue to ground pound and run out this clock, another big hole for Devontae Freeman. And he hasn't even had a touchdown on the day. I barely handed him the ball because we keep getting shut down by their elite D-line. And why not? Zero seconds left. Two fullback touchdowns for our challenge. Why not? Kyle Hughes check with his second on the day. And we're going to win the Super Bowl against the Denver Broncos and Dwayne Haskins. 17 to 27. That final touchdown was unnecessary. But my Super Bowl MVP is Quan Williams. Eli Apple, yes, he had two picks. And that pick by Eli Apple at the end definitely ended the game for them and ruined all hopes for them. But I would say that Quan Williams, if he didn't make that pick six at that point, it would be... I wouldn't be up as far as I would, and that fullback touchdown would decide the game. 
that fullback touchdown would have decided the game and I probably wouldn't even have ran fullback dive if it was on that part of the game. So Quan Williams really put me in a comfortable situation to run easier plays. I would have definitely not run that fullback dive on that final play if it wasn't for Quan Williams. I would have been down. I would have been it, pretty sure it would have been... I don't even know what the score was, 13 to 17? Yeah, it would have been 13 to 17 if it wasn't for that Quan Williams pick six. And I would have had to run some random play on the two yard line and hope for a miracle and it definitely wouldn't have been it. And Quan Williams is your Super Bowl MVP. Three tackles, zero sacks, one TD and one interception. Yes, Eli Apple did have two interceptions and one of them definitely salted the game away. But still, I, I personally think Quan Williams is an absolute beast. But anyways, let's get into the challenge. So this is the challenge wheel, the Super Bowl wheel, after we completed our challenge with the fullback. And it's going to be plus seven, any stat, comments choose. You guys get a comment what plus stat I have. You guys cannot separate it. Don't be like, oh, plus five speed and plus two acceleration. Choose the player and choose the stat in the comments. I'm relying on you guys to do it. Make sure you guys comment that for the next episode. So that's going to be really cool. Just to let the comments have some more fun, I try to give my viewers as much possible power as they can. That's why I always set up those polls, so that way you guys can decide on what you guys like the best, and I'll most likely do it. Uh, it just depends. I don't really know most of the time, but still, this team is really, really cool. I'm glad we're going to be going into the next season with four superstar X factors, which I did predict actually, because we've had 20 episodes of this. If I didn't get all four of my prestige players to superstar X factor, I'd be pretty upset, but we have Khalil Mack who started as an X factor, Marshawn Lattimore who started as star, Justin Herbert who started as star, Darius Slayton who started as a star development. So very good upgrades overall on the team, but my pr three, four, yeah, bleh. Four prestige players in total, two on offense, two on defense, is going to be two for Darius Slayton and two for one for Darius Slayton, one for Justin Herbert, and one for Khalil Mack, and one for Marshawn Lattimore, if that makes sense. But I'm going to be scrolling through these awards if you guys want to see any of them, just for you guys' information. I personally don't really care what they are, and it looks like Offensive Rookie of the Year, Justin Herbert got two, and Tua Tungavailoa got number one, which is a little bit interesting. And Defensive Rookie of the Year, anyone else here? Nope, no Buccaneers. Uh, QB, nope, it doesn't look like we need any place in the top 10. Best running back, it looks like Devontae Freeman wasn't there. He was injured for half the season. And Darius Slayton's number two. You cannot tell me that Deshaun Jackson is better than Darius Slayton. Get out of here. Be quiet. Sit down, boy. We don't need you. D-line, Khalil Mack attack at number three. And no one else here. Jeffrey Simmons Jr. actually had a really good season. I don't know why he's not there. Best DB is Jordan Whitehead. That's BS. And Eli Apple is two, which I can, which I can actually understand. Sorry for me burping. But uh, I better see Quan Williams. What? You're gonna you're gonna put Jordan Whitehead over Quan Williams and Marshawn Ladmore and not even be in the top ten? That's insane to me. Anyways, guys, if you guys have any suggestions for season two, please let me know. I'm going to keep the Buccaneers as my team. I'm not going to change them as a different team until Madden 22 comes out just to keep it, you know, the usual like always. But I'm going to be changing up the team because this is the final season, final episode for this season. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.